sign up for free Stratfor Intelligence. Simply enter your email address to receive two free reports each week. After Egypt, Bahrain has become the most significant place where street agitation is taking place in the Middle East. Bahrain is significant because it is the only uh, wealthy GCC country where we're seeing mass protests and a government crackdown. The country being a proxy battleground for Saudi Arabia and Iran makes it even more significant. Pro-democracy street agitation in, is not a stranger to Bahrain. Uh, there have been such protests going back as far back as the early 90s with uh, the opposition forces demanding that the monarchy make room for a more constitutional framework and a much more democratic polity. So what is happening is not entirely new. But what makes this significant, this latest round of unrest, is that it comes in the context of the overall regional unrest that started in Tunisia, moved to Egypt, and both in Tunisia and Egypt, we saw the fall of, of the sitting presidents. And what makes this even more significant is that in Bahrain, you have a sectarian dynamic. The country is ruled by a Sunni monarchy, and the monarchy is presiding over a very large, overwhelming Shiite population, estimated to be around 70% of the, uh, the country's total people. It's not just the sectarian dynamic that makes the protests significant in Bahrain. There is also a wider geopolitical contest between Saudi Arabia and Iran that has been going on for several decades, and much more recently since the fall of the Saddam regime in Iraq. Since then, Saudi Arabia has been very worried about Iranian attempts to project power across the Persian Gulf into the Arabian Peninsula. And with Bahrain having a significant Shia population, uh, this is a cause of concern for Saudi Arabia. Uh, Saudi Arabia is neighbors to Bahrain, and Saudi Arabia also has its own 20% Shia population. From the point of view of the United States, Bahrain is also significant because it is home to the U.S. Navy's Fifth Fleet. And the Fifth Fleet is one of the key levers that serve as a counter to Iran and any movement on the part of Iran. It is not clear at this point to what degree is in Iran involved in the uprising in Bahrain. There are linkages, but to what degree is Iran playing those linkages is, is not clear at this point. But nonetheless, it is a one of those flashpoints between the uh, Shiite Iran and the Sunni Arab world, the largely Sunni Arab world. And therefore, Bahrain is going to be very interesting in terms of how both sides uh, battle it out in, in the form of a proxy contest. Should Bahrain succumb to unrest and the monarchy have to concede to the demands of the protesters at some point in the future, this becomes a huge concern for the security of countries like Saudi Arabia, particularly where there is a 20% Shia population that has been keeping quiet for the most part, but could be emboldened based on what they have seen in Egypt and now what they're looking at in terms of Bahrain. <laughs> 